Okay, so the first card you have you passed is the Four of Swords. Now, the interesting thing about this card is, obviously it's very peaceful, he's lying down, he's resting, but he's got these swords hanging over him, so it's a little bit mixed. It can be stress, it can be getting over stress, it can be dealing with something difficult, waiting to find the right answer, and then waking up with this revelation here. So I think with you, what this is about is, there was a lot of frustration, I'm getting frustration, difficulties, you had all this on your head with these swords, lots and lots of problems, and I think this was about a love connection. So you had all these things, and what I'm getting here is, um, I'm getting questions, yeah, I'm getting questions here. It's like, I want to ask you these questions, I want some answers, that's how you were with someone. I really, really, really need these answers. It was very, very important to you to get to the bottom of something, that's what I'm getting, and you, it, it, it looks like you really tried, you tried, you tried, you, you tried to get them to open up, you really did, and um, you know, I, I think you got something from them, I think they answered you, they said something, but it wasn't real, it wasn't giving you the answer you wanted, you couldn't get to the bottom of something, I keep on getting that, I need to get to the bottom of something, please tell me, I want the truth, I'm getting that, I want the truth, I, I feel lost, I feel lost, you're supposed to love me, you have to give me this answer, you have to tell me what the truth is, if you love me, that's what you'll do, I'm getting all that kind of thing, obviously not in exactly those words, that's the kind of thing I'm getting, and yeah, I'm getting this exhaustion, like this man, look at this man, so he's so exhausted, because he just tried, like you, you've tried, you've tried and tried, I've tried to get the answer, i tried to talk to them, I'm just exhausted now, this is what I'm getting, I've tried and I'm exhausted, there's, there's no point, I need space, I just need to be on my own now, just like this man, and you know, he's just like, no, I'm not getting any answers from them, I can't sort my head out when I talk to them, I'm just going to try and do it on my own, so you went on your own, you lay down on your own, and you had these swords over your head, these big burdens, this big worry that you had over your head, and you're just sitting there thinking, I've got to sort this out by myself, I'm not getting any help from them. And I think you might still be wondering about this, if this is you, you're kind of still grappling with, because it, it feels like you've still got some kind of a tie to this person, not, not that you want to be with them, but it, it's more like, I still can't work this out, I'm still really confused, why did they do this, why, you know, if this is you, try and move on from these whys, I know it's easy for me to say, it's, it's a difficult thing to do, but what's more important uh, than the whys, than getting the answer is, you know how you felt, you know how this person made you feel, that's the most important thing, whether you get to the answer, whether you don't get to the answer, if someone's made you feel like that, that's enough, that's enough to move on from someone, it really, really, really is, like, it doesn't matter if your instincts are telling you, no, this is wrong, if I've asked them for something they won't tell me, and you know, there's a reason why I'm asking them, why am I so anxious, they're making me anxious, so you've got to think about all that as well, you know, you know something's not right, if you feel that, if your instincts are telling you that, and also if you're trying to get an answer and they won't tell you, there's a reason why that is, so um, I'm going to talk about this, the Ace of Swords as well here, because obviously that's about clarity, and that's what you wanted, I want clarity, I want clarity, I'm also getting a decision, so you made a decision about this, and it took you a long, long time to make this decision, that's what I'm getting, um, because they were not meeting you in your mind, that's what this crown can represent um, on this Ace of Swords, mind over body, so you know, it doesn't mean you didn't want passion with them, doesn't mean you didn't love them, doesn't mean you have, didn't have emotion, but you wanted them to meet you in, you know, mind to mind, you wanted to have that deep connection with them, so even without all these questions, even before all of that happened, it feels like you you know, you were with them, and you had this kind of mind connection, they'd start to open up a little bit, and you're like, oh, finally they're opening up, that's really great, I'm getting this connection I want, and then they'd kind of go back again, and then you're like, oh no, what's happened, they're not opening up again, and then they'd come forward again, and, and that would give you hope, it's like, oh, that's giving me hope, they're finally starting to open up, we're getting somewhere here, finally, 
and then they'd move away again. And, and I'm looking at that because this is right next to the Wheel of Fortune and that can be about things going backwards and forwards. So, so there's that. And so with this, with this sword here, I, I think this is all about cutting things out. So you did everything you could after all that. You tried, you did everything, you just had to cut them out. Now, even though I'm getting cutting out here, Again, I've got this thing where you've still got some kind of attachment to them. Again, it doesn't mean you love them, doesn't mean you want them back. There's some little attachment. To me, it feels like you've still got these questions. You're still wondering about these questions. Lots of questions you still want the answers to. You're still very up in the air. And it could be really difficult because it can feel like a part of your life is a question. Were they honest or did they actually love me? Did it mean anything? Was it all just a lie? Was it all just, I don't know? And I, I'll never find the answer out. But again, you've got to deal with your feelings. You've got to deal with how they made you feel. And if they made you feel a certain way, that's enough. That's enough to cut this out. Um, so yeah, I'm, go I'm going to talk about the hermit here as well. So yeah, I think now at this time, you kind of cut all this off. You're away from this. You've still got a little tie with them. I keep on feeling that. I don't know what it is. But you're trying to get yourself back on the right path again, like this hermit. You're kind of traveling along by yourself now. And uh, okay, I'm just getting something else here about this connection. Uh, there's some, I, I, it looks like they had some problems in their background, maybe. Uh, and, and it feels like you help them. It feels like you help them with things. You're a helper as a Capricorn. And uh, you help people in practical ways quite a lot, but in other ways as well. Um, and, I, and I think you felt as if they were kind of on the back foot. They didn't have a very good start in life. I'm getting that kind of feeling. And you're like, well, all they need is some support. They just need some help. I'll be there to help them. I'll be there to support them. Um, and so I think you're kind of grappling with that as well, because it's like I did so much for them and they wouldn't even offer me the answers. They wouldn't even give me what I wanted. And, and I helped them so much. So I've got that there as well. And, and I think that's really bothering you as well, if that's you. Um, but, you know, support goes both ways. This is another thing. Support goes both ways. And uh, if they were withholding answers from you, um, you know, they're hiding things. Even if they weren't cheating, even they were, if they weren't doing anything horrible like that, they were still hiding things because they weren't open with you. So I know this is all very negative, but you deserve this openness. You deserve this honesty, especially if you're supporting them, especially. And uh, yeah, I, I'm still, I hate this. I'm still getting this link between you. It, it might just be, you know, because just looking at this hermit, he's on his own. He's finding his own path. That's kind of where you are right now. So it might be that you're still finding that path, that you're still not quite over this. You, maybe you quite haven't, you haven't quite um, gotten through a healing process. I just, before I go on, I just want to apologize that I'm messing my words up in this reading. Um, so my apologies, I don't know why that's happening. I'm just going to keep going with this for you because I want to do this for you. So the first card you have your present is uh, the Eight of Cups. Yeah, so this might be one of the reasons why I'm seeing this person still in your energy. Actually, it's interesting. I'm seeing a couple of things here. So I'll talk about this first. So it looks like maybe they're still talking to you a little bit. They might be contacting you. I'm seeing little tiny messages and that might be connecting you to them. I'm actually seeing a few little conversations. So you might still be in conversations with this person. And it looks like, you know, it looks like, you know, little little bits of contact and then nothing and then little bits of contact and then nothing. So it's really similar behavior to what was happening before. Only now you're not together and now they're doing this little bit of contact if this is resonating with you. And again, it doesn't feel like you want to get back together with them. It's, you know, I'm not getting that at all. But, you know, if you're still having these conversations with me, even if they're small, um, of course, it's fine. You can talk to whoever you want to. Just make sure your emotions aren't too caught up in this because I keep on getting this tie there. You know, because you've moved on, I can see that. But there's a little bit of emotion there that's still with them, I think. And it might just be about these questions. It might just be like, maybe if I still keep in contact, they might tell me eventually, they might answer my questions, you know. So, okay, I have to tell you this. 
I hate to say this to you, but I don't think you're going to get any of the answers from them. I really, really don't think you are. Um, you know, this is what I'm getting around them. There's a lot of mixed up energy. There's a lot of mixed up energy around them and it's inside them, a bit like this wheel of fortune. So I'll talk about that now. So this is what I'm getting inside them. This wheel, it's kind of turning around and around and around. And that's how they are inside. They're very confused. Uh, they're quite emotional. You might be surprised to know this because they weren't coming forward to you, but they're actually very emotional. They feel a lot inside them. But what they feel is it's very, very, very mixed up, very mixed up. And they act on that mixed up emotion. They act on that mixed up emotion. You act more on thought. This is what I'm getting. You act more on thought. You know, you've got deep emotions. I'm not saying you haven't, but you act more on the mind and they act more on feelings. The problem is their feelings are all over the place, like this kind of wheel that's turning around, like this washing machine. It's going round and around and around inside them. And so, you know, I, I just think, even if you ask them, even if you're sad, can you please tell me the answer to this question right now? And even if they wanted to tell you the answer, I don't think they could. Because I think they just acted on feelings. It was like, I'm coming close because I'm feeling this. Oh, now I'm not. I'll move away. And, but you, but the feelings that you can't articulate, the feelings you can't put words to. So I really, really think, I don't think you'll find the answers. If you're still looking for answers, if you're still contacting them, or they're contacting you, or you're hoping that you're going to get an answer at some time, my feeling is that you probably won't because they couldn't even articulate the, articulate the answers even if that's what they wanted to do. The other thing I'm getting in this card is it feels like there might be someone, uh, a love connection that was around you before this axe. It feels like there might be some kind of thing happening there at some time. So if you know of some another ex that was before this person, you might hear something from them. You might not. I'm just getting that possibility because with this Eight of Cups, um, you know, he's walking around, turning around this mountain and also with the Wheel of Fortune, once again, it's turning around. So people coming around again. And what I'm getting is this other person is a lot more open. They're a lot more open than this person in the Four of Swords. But of course, this is all up to you. But I'm seeing lots of this happening, lots of this turning back around again. Okay, so the last card you have your present is uh, the Eight of Wands. Very interesting. Okay, okay, so what I'm getting here is this is something quite specific. It might just be for a couple of people, it might just be for one person, um, but I'm going to say what this is because it's very, very important for someone to hear. So what I'm getting here is this is obviously action, pure action. I'm getting this feeling of it feels like pushing, 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 pushing. Uh, yeah, pushing things under the surface. That's what I'm getting, pushing things under the surface. So, okay, this is what I'm getting. There's something you really, really would like to do, something you'd love to do. You'd love to do this. You've always wanted to do this, if this is you. And just look at these ones. This is your desire. They're flying into the sky. And when you think about doing this, when you let yourself think about this, it's like, oh, my feelings soar into the sky. Uh, this desire that I have is kind of flying into the sky. And, and then you start thinking, well, I can't do this realistically. This is, I can't do this. So I'm going to push it down, push it under the surface, and I'm going to try and forget about this. Because realistically, I can't do this. And I don't want to think about this because it will just hurt me. So I'm going to push it down. That's what I'm getting. And you've always, always, always had this desire inside you. You've always wanted to do this. It's in your heart. Maybe even since you're a child, it's, it's something like that. What I want to tell you about this is if this is you, you can't escape this. You can't escape this desire. And that's why every time you push, try to push this down, it comes up again pushing down, coming up. It's a little bit like, you know, when you have one of those blow up balls in a swimming pool, you try and push it down and it comes up again. That That's what happens. So if, if this is making sense to you, I really hope it is to someone, because someone needs to hear this. I think the big problem you have is, one of the big problems, I think there are a few, uh, the, the things you worry about, if you did go and pursue this thing was, would be one of the things is, um, 
If I do this, if I try and go after this, I'm going to lose what I have now. I'm going to lose everything. And I can't afford to do that. I can't, literally can't afford to do that because I think there's money that you're worried about as well. What I'm getting here is there's a way. That's what the message here is. There's a way to do this. And there's a way that you can still do what you're doing and do this other thing as well. That's the message here to someone who needs to hear this. Now, it might be that you uh, work less hours to do this other thing. It might be that you get some other, some kind of grant or a loan or, or someone helps you. Um, cause, cause the feeling I'm getting here is one of these things that's stopping you might be financial. Um, cause there are no pentacles in this whole reading. And sometimes that can mean a feeling of lack feeling like, oh, if I go after that, I'll have nothing. And I built something up, I built up a job or something now, and I'll lose all that. You will not lose that. There's a way, there's a way that you can do this and the, there's a way that you can keep on doing what you're doing. You might end up increasing the new thing and decreasing what you're doing now eventually, but there's a way that you can do both to start with. There absolutely is, really, really is. And instead of, instead of focusing on why you can't do things and then pushing things down under the carpet. Think about the reasons why you can do this, because there are some reasons there. But I, I, I just think for you, you might have said, no, I'm not exploring those reasons because it's too painful. I know I can't do this, so I'm just going to push it away, push it away. Don't do that. Don't do that. There are things you can do. Start writing things down. Write down, I can do this because X, Y, Z. How can I do this? What do I need to do to plan this? Do I need to get a grant? Do I need someone to help me? Do I need to get set X amount of time of hours aside? What do I need to do? Really, really think about that. Do I have to apply for something? Okay, this is what I'm getting in my head. I don't know if it's going to make sense to anyone. I'm just going to tell you what I'm getting in my head. I'm getting travel, traveling to this thing or this place that you want to do. There's a big light room, a big spacious room, big white room, full of light, full of air. You've got lots of space. You've got lots of time to do this thing you want to do. It's a big, big, big light room, big light room, and you're by yourself and you've got no one bothering you. You can have whatever this is, if that resonates with you. I don't know if it has anything to do with that. I was just getting that in my head and I wanted to tell you that. Um, yeah, so obviously with this travel I'm seeing, you can't do travel now, but you can plan now um, so that you can do this when it's time. So think about that if this is you. You can do this. You absolutely can do this. And have a look at these ones again. This is about things taking off for you. They're going to take off. They're about to take off, but you've got to stop pushing this under the carpet. You've really got to let it out. Um, you've really, if it pains you, you've got to feel that. You just have to feel that and you have to put all of these energies into this. You've got to write everything down, all the ways that you can make, you can get this to work. You've got to write that down. What do I need to do? And once you see it out in front of you, you can start to implement that. So I really, really, really hope that helps somebody. I really do because I'm feeling this very deeply. Okay, so the other thing I'm getting here is, yeah, this is exactly what I was seeing in the Eight of Cups, this love. There's a love connection here. Uh, there's some kind of love around you or it's coming to you. Uh, and, and what I'm seeing is this: these wands are leading into the Ace of Cups. So what, what this is telling me is to get to this new love, and it is coming up for you. It's absolutely coming up for you. There's new love here if you're single, obviously. Um, to get to that new love, You've got to lose this old energy because this is what I'm seeing here. If you look at all these wands, it looks like they're flying up in the sky and they're about to come up and reach what's in your future, which is the Ace of Cups. You don't want that old energy coming up and getting into the Ace of Cups because they look like spears or something like that or arrows or something. You do not want them coming up and encroaching on your future. And also, if you're in this old energy, no matter how you're doing this, if you're looking for answers, if you're still talking to them, I'm not saying don't talk to them, but it really is a risk if you're doing that, if this is you, that you're in the old energy. It might be stopping you from moving forward with this thing that I'm seeing in the Ace, the other thing I'm seeing in the Eight of Wands as well. So don't be in this old energy. You've really got to put that aside. 
You've really got to move forward in this. And the thing is, you know, with this axe, you help them. I was seeing that in the hermit. You help them. It's time to turn that back around. You've got the Wheel of Fortune here. Turn that back around. Turn it around so that you're helping yourself. It's time to help yourself now. And it's time to say goodbye to that. Move into this new energy where you can do this ambition. You can do this thing you've always wanted to do. And you can work on this new love that's coming in. And I'm going to move into the future now. I'm going to look at the Ace of Cups. I'm not going to repeat myself again, but I just want to show you this one more time. So the devil obviously can represent Capricorn. We all know that. So you've got the devil down there. Now, just looking at this sequence between the Ace of Cups and the devil, what this is showing me is if you lose all that, if you lose all that old energy, you're going to be able to heal properly, which is what the Ace of Cups can be about. Healing properly. Um, look at this. This... <laughs> The way this is, is really interesting because the devil's healing, because the water's coming down from the Ace of Cups down onto the devil. So he's healing. He's healing. And so you, you're going to get, get rid of these old energies. This is what you should do. Let yourself heal. And when you've done that, this new love will come in. And it's absolutely, absolutely going to come in. If you're single, I can see that. I can see that it's probably someone that you used to know before this X in the Four of Swords. That's probably who this is. Because I'm feeling that, what I'm feeling is that you know this person, you've already spent time with this person, you know them quite well. That That's kind of what I'm getting. What if it, yeah, what it feels like, it feels like that you're actually both carrying something around with you, something you've got to drop. So you're carrying around this burden of this old energy and I think they're carrying something around as well, this new person. You know, because obviously, if you look at this devil, obviously these two people are chained to this devil, these poor people. So they're carrying this thing around them that's not good for them. Um, I do think you're both going to dro drop whatever this is eventually. They're going to drop whatever's burning them. You're going to drop this this axe energy, this old energy. And you're going to get together. Because I'm, I'm definitely seeing that. You've got the Ace of Cups. I'm definitely seeing that this person's coming back into your life. Um, very, very, very nice energy. Very kind, beautiful energy. Um, so, you know, you're both going to be able to get rid of these chains in this devil. Because um, you know, they're loose chains around the necks. You can see that. So they can easily take them off. And I think eventually you will do that. Um, just, just lots and lots of patience is going to have to happen here. Patience, time healing, you've got to heal from something, this old thing. So very, very slow, very, very slow getting together. Um, but you are going to get together. Again, I'm seeing this very clearly. You know who this is. This is someone that was around you before this acts. I'm seeing that very, very clearly. If this is you, if this resonates with you.